Welcome back everybody, this is Mog once more here on Mog's Cast, playing some more YOLO Skyrim with you guys today, and here we are on Burla Two Toes once more, waking up in the morning here from the inn that we slept in last night. We're gonna Welcome go ahead dead. and, uh... I escaped fighting in Cyrodiil, only to have it track me down again in Skyrim. And we're gonna see oh, if we can find any work here. string together a few sunny day. Here, take a look at this. Some of the Jarl's men came by and left this bounty letter. We're gonna try another bounty. Seeing if we get Here it from the inn is any different. Be sure to I'm share also, and I don't think it is, I'm also gonna ask around a little bit, see if we can find again, any bro. other quests around. I'll never Short bones. Handsome man and bulky. Damn right, handsome man. A strong drink will chase off that chill in the air. Hey, Bard, what's cracking, my Need friend? Need something. Oops, sorry, I did not Keep mean to hit that, my bad. Heart. I smacked Hold the mic. The and I don't see anybody else in here that we can possibly get a quest from, so let's go ahead and head out. We're going to go over to the uh, general store real quick, see if we can sell off some of our gear that we weren't able to sell off yesterday since the store had been closed. And then we're going to look around for any quest that we can do. I wonder if chopping wood for the lumberjack helps us assisting the people of Falkreath. I can't believe we let provincials like... I can't you believe we let provincials like you wander Skyrim. You want to say that to my face? That Valga Venetia is a gossip and a troublemaker. Piss off. Well, well man, off. unlike my brother, I've no dislike of strangers. Met lots of them while I was a stormcloak. Well, nice. Oh, a bit of this and a bit of that. Let's see what we got here that we can sell for you. Uh, steel dagger we'll get rid of since we don't really need it. Staff of sparks I will sell. You got a little, you got a bit more gold. You got like 680 some odd. We can sell the amulet of Akatosh. I want to keep the Debella restoration spells for, uh, for Mara. We'll get rid of Bandage Shield. Boy, I mean to sell both those. Damn it. Okay, Black Mage Robe, Copper, both the gold necklaces, Novice Robe, Silver Garnet Ring. We'll sell. Um, let's see. Potion of Glibness, plus 20 speech craft for 60 seconds. I'm never going to use it. We'll just sell it. Drought of the Night, heavy armor skill. Yeah, that's nice. How about some scrolls? 110 is all we got left that we can sell, so let's take a peek here. Let's get rid of some books, because they're a little heavy. At least they can be. Uh, Alchemist Journal, we don't need. We've read it. Argonian Account, don't need it. Doesn't do nothing. Bounty Notes, we'll get rid of both of those. Enchanting Smithing, those are all books that are worthwhile for keeping and reading later. Get rid of the Basket, I don't need it. Amethyst, we can sell them both. Speechcraft increased to 18, nice. Garnet, how about we can't sell any of those? We don't have enough money on our, on our merchant here. That's fine. Any ingredients worth selling? Ice Wraith Teeth probably can sell for a little bit. That's fine, though. I'm not too worried about it. Uh, potions, yes, yes, yes. That's that's looking pretty good. How am I looking on encumberment? I can't see from here, can I? Ste uh, Anything from it's okay. looking for something? I was once, but not anymore. I was wounded in a skirmish up near Windhelm. This was years ago, mind you. Now maybe I don't pick up a blade in Ulfric's name no more, but I still hold with his ideals. Skyrim is Nordland, and we ought to rule it. We don't need no help from the Empire on that count. You mentioned a brother. His name's Bolin. He's the one who works the lumber mill down by the river. If you meet him, don't expect much in the way of conversation. He ain't one for talking. Especially with folk he don't know. Fair enough. Thanks, Soloff. Be seeing you, stranger. Let's talk to this lady. Can we help out? Skyrim's um, history of war dude. is well documented here in Falkreath's graveyard. You said something about a burial. Well, Falkreath is known for its graveyard, traveler. We've buried more dead than you can imagine. I just finished giving my old war companion Barrett a proper burial by fire. Old Hardhead hated the idea of being lost cold in the ground. Could you deliver the ashes to Runil, the priest of Arkay? He'll know the right blessings to make for Barrett's soul. Sure, I think we can do that. Thank you. All right. Where is this Runil? Is he in town, I hope? Nope. Oh, let's kill the bandit leader. Let's take a peek at our journal. Oh yeah, yeah, he's just right over there. Nice. That'll be a quick, easy one to get some uh, get some more favor with the people. It seems. I'm down with that. Let's go take him in. 
Oh, that wasn't a wall I had to jump. Ah, ha, ha. Oh, well. Guess I could put back on my helmet, huh? Renew that blessing. Okay. Is he outside? He must be outside or somewhere nearby. I just assumed I wasn't looking at my map. That's what I get. Ah, oh, there he is. The god Arke was once like us, bound to winding mortality. But he willingly gave up this existence that we might better understand the vagaries of life and death. It is through the ebb and flow of this cosmic tide Don't that me. we find renewal and it peace. May the spirit of Lavinia and all those who have left this world and its suffering know the beloved serenity of the Perius. And may we one day rejoin them in eternity. What's up, Runel? Goost is responsible for the cemetery here in Falkreath. I take care of the shrine. Have a delivery from that year. Ah, Barrett's ashes. He was a good man. Not many warriors grow to a fine old age. Thank you for bringing this to me. I'll make sure he gets his rights. Here, for your trouble. Damn, that's a good little for your trouble there, huh? You're a priest of Arcade. I came into Arcade's light after the Great War. So many died by my hands, my magics. I'm fortunate that Kust and the people of Falkreath have come to accept me as one of their own. Could you do an old elf a favor? I misplaced my journal in a cave I was exploring. I'll pay for its return. I think I could do that for you. Blessing of RK to you for your help. Oh, merciful RK, no. I'm too old and frail, and this graveyard is too large. Kust is my assistant. He helps me tend the headstones and keep our cemetery clean, as befits a place of rest. Well, nice talking that to you, Riddle. That journal means a lot to me, if you find it. Don't worry, we'll find it. My husband Matthias and I tend Corpse Light Farm. A sad time. Our daughter. Our little girl. She hadn't seen her tent winter. She was... He ripped her apart. No, no, like don't want to hear, wanna hear it. Don't want to hear it. Strangers like me. Ah, rubber. Don't want to hear it. That's a quest that I don't really want to get into right now. Because I'm not sure I can handle it. But I know the one. Okay, so we can do the bandit leader up there. Let's go ahead and assist Runel in getting his uh, journal back. God dang, he left it far out there, didn't he? Uh, boy, oh boy. How are we doing overall on this? Two, I just need one more. Okay, that's fine. Alright. I wish I had a horse. Really wish I had a horse. Before we me uh, mess it up, though, let's go ahead and put back on our helmet and we'll get ready to travel. Amulet of Debella might as well equip it since it gives me plus 15 speech craft. And I lost my damn shield because I'm an idiot, so we'll just have to keep an eye out for another shield sooner or later. How about this, though? I should actually remember to do this. Uh, favorite up everything that I might use. Okay, how about favoring it up? Some uh, potions of health are good, looks like. Stamina potions. Oh, poisons. Uh... That looks pretty good to me. And I think we favorited our torch. Yeah, we're good. Okay, let's go ahead and do this thing. We'll get moving. Later, guard. God, that tail. Just a metronome. We're going to sprint this one, try to make the best use of our stamina as we can, since this is going to be a bit of a travel. We are going the wrong direction. I want to go down to the water. Kill the bandit leader is going away. 
let's do this. We're gonna cut back across. And I think we can, yeah, we can make it up. Ah, it looks like there's a, a ruin up there. Might have to go explore that sooner or later. But not right now. We got we got other things we're worrying about right now. We're working for Falkreath. Ah, but we have found the entrance, haven't we? Let's get it marked on the map, I think. At least. South Shriekwind ba uh, Basin. Bastion. Okay. Well, it's marked. That's all I wanted to do, just so that we can uh, fast travel to it in the future if we need be, in case I have trouble finding the entrance or something. Or in case I just want to be lazy, let's be honest. <laughs> Good night, wolf. I'll take that pelt off you if you don't mind. There's an elk deer thing around here somewhere. Just heard that. And some more wolves, it sounds like. I believe that's the wolves' sounds. Hey, there's somebody over there. What's up? What are you chasing? Athos? Ah, fresh blood. Hope Lots you know the how companions. to handle yourself. Soon enough, it'll be me. Fortune and glory, friend. Fortune and glory. What's up, mm -hmm. Torvar? Are you gonna let me watch or not? All right. Until next huh. time. Fair enough. I did not expect to see the friggin' uh, these guys out here at all. It looks like they may have been chasing. Not uh, now. I'm trying to watch this. Chasing these guys, whatever the hell they're called. I forget now. The little uh, the Nord corpse Are you things. Let me watch or not? Whatever. I don't remember what they're called. It's not a big deal. Make our way down to the water. Oh boy, wolves. Oh. <sighs> <sighs> Nothing like murdering wolves in the morning. Get that blood flowing. Anything else of worth here in this little little cave? Not so much looks like. Chest, actually. Let's see. Oh, first try? Not quite. Let's try down to the left a little more. Nope, that's tighter. Right in between the notches. Busted. Let's go a little closer. That seems like a pretty wide range. We'll go a little further to that side. Nope. Okay, let's try right over this notch. There we go. We'll take them both. Almost made the gap. We found the water, which means it's just across the water. Ooh, and we found a stone. A birthstone. Or whatever these ones are called. What's what are you doing? You look like you were fighting somebody. And what's with the water? What's with the water? Why is water wigging out? That's not cool. What's up, it's Hunter? not like my poaching is hurting anyone. The yaw can hardly eat every deer now, can he? He really can't. I say go for it. There's totally supposed to be water. You see it cut off there? Look at that. That's unfortunate. Oh, you can even see the little fishies. Little fishy fishies. That's... That's annoying. Oh, I'm sorry. Stupid buggy stuff. Catch some bees. I've been hunting and fishing in these parts for years. Whoa. All right. Help. You're all right. I took care of it. No wolves are attacking you. You're fine. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm totally sorry. I'm sorry. I think I can. Uh, I think I can yield. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Talk to me. Talk to me. Talk to me. Talk to me. I'm really sorry. I'm totally sorry. I'm really sorry. Talk to me. I'm sorry. Damn it. You won't live to see tomorrow. Sorry, fisherman lady. 
Couldn't let you run away and tell anybody. Is that the only person you saw? Are my sins forgiven? Let's take a look. Is it journal? It is journal. General stats. Crime. Let's take a peek here. Do I have a bounty? Crime. Murders. Zero, apparently. Fines paid 11. And I've only got the one bounty, so apparently that didn't really do much. Alright. Cool. Sorry, lady. I really am. I didn't want to hurt you. But I tried to yield, and you wouldn't let me. I think you have to have a shield. Maybe that's what it is. Like, you can you block, and then you talk to them. I thought that's what triggered yielding, but she wasn't taking it with my, with my torch out, at least. What is this? Friggin' everything out here is buggy in the water, it seems. Okay, well, that's fine. At least we won't spend too much time in the water. It looks like we're coming up on a cave here, too. Might not be in the water, I'm drowning. <laughs> it looks like the cave's or entrance is gonna be right up here. Somewhere. We're getting close. South Bristleshin Pass. Discovered? So that must be the pass that... Okay, we got something coming over here. What is it? What kind of enemy are we facing here? Is that a fish? A fishy fish? It's sauce in the water? May have been. Yep. Oh, it's a skeever. Come here, skeever. That is a very strange swimming animation, skeever. Not gonna lie. That is a burly skeever. I've contracted ataxia, you mother. Oh, he was diseased. That's why he was hard, taking more damage. He was diseased, little bastard. Open oh, the skill menu to level. Yes, I'm aware. Bristle Shin. Oh, okay. So the book is in Bristle Shin Pass. That's where we need to go. It's just closer to the other entrance, apparently. But we'll take this pass, and we'll go in. No stuff out here to grab? Okay, we're good. Let's head on in. Bristle Shin Pass. This looks like the kind of place we might find a replacement shield. And enemies. Probably a fair few enemies. Is that a rune? It is a rune. So there's traps out here. Magical traps. Oops. I'm going to hit Q, not F. Let's bust out a torch. So we can see what we're doing a little bit better. How about this? Ah, oh, it doesn't trigger. Okay, fair enough. Magic knows when it's human toes, it seems. Right? Did I not just did I just miss it, maybe? Uh, it's definitely not triggering. Okay. Oh, didn't mean to do that. I was hoping I could get past it. You son of a bee. Iron Shield will take that for now. I don't know if I'll equip it just yet, but we'll hold on to it before I can get myself a replacement bandit. Okay, we're gonna equip it. We're gonna equip it. <laughs> barely missed that one. Or barely made that one. Nothing there, looks like. And I gotta keep my eyes open for more traps, more runes. Are those, no, those are just reflections, or, uh, uh, coming through the ceiling there. Trap. Well, 
Let's do this trap first, see if we can get this thing open. Right there. Let's try the middle over this section. I went a little too far. Let's try right there. We will take all of that. It's all got some worth to it. Nothing over there, that's just texturing. Okay. Hearing some roars. I don't like that. Oh, some prison. That's fun. Oh, okay. Okay. You know what? You know what? It's times like these, you know? Necromancers abound. We really need to play our cards right. Oh, I went right over his head, didn't I? Oh, Jesus. Okay, that one's down at least. We can get this guy. He's running. He's gonna come back through? Nope, he's just gonna run. Okay, that was the guy that was up there. Okay. Oh, and he revived his little uh, prisoner here. I was gonna attack the prisoner because I wasn't sure at first, but... Necromancer's down. I'll take a few of my arrows back. We'll take those robes since they're worth a little bit of money. How about this? Snag some arrows. Oh, I thought those were a pack of arrows, not trousers. Alright, Nord. What do you got on you? Gold necklace? I'll take that, buddy. Hope you don't mind. You seem like you're already dead. Human heart? And it looks like the book's not far off there. But... Firstly, we need to clear out any goodies that we have in here for us. Green apple. Why did I take the green apples? I don't need green apples. What do we got up here? An enchanting spot. Uh, looks like a skeleton that we can pull some gold from. A few books that have a little bit of worth to them. Might as well take them. Conjuration book. I'm down. Grab that, take that soul gem. It's funny how they make this look like he's just trying to revive the skeleton or something, right? By using a soul gem. Or maybe he was using it to capture the soul gem, who knows. But, it's funny that you can just cast a spell and summon a skeleton at any time. As opposed to what he just did. And, okay, it seems... <laughs> it seems, uh, Runnel, the, uh, the priest, misplaced his book inside of someone else's chest. But that's cool. Who am I to judge? Staff of Fury, I'll take that. That's got some worth to it for sure. Skeleton gonna be coming up here, it looks like. Is it a skeleton? Sure is a skeleton. Okay. Let's make our way down. On, Skelly, where are you? There he is. Come here, little buddy. We'll take that, and I didn't mean to grab the other iron shield, but it is what it is. We'll drop it later if need be. Okay, I'm not getting up there, it seems. Ancient Nord sword, don't need it. Not much out there. Is there going to be runes here on the ground that I need to pay attention to? This looks like an area that there would be. Petty Soul Gem on a stand. Nothing's happened. Right? 
Nothing happened? Those noises triggered at a very strange time. I totally thought I triggered something. Okay, we're gonna move on up. And I think this might be toward the exit. I see the winds, and I see the light. We've made it through. And out to the other side, back to our outdoor Skyrim. Oh, trolls, don't give me those loading screens. These things are friggin' monstrous. North Bristle Shin Pass discovered. Heck yes, it was. Alright. How are we looking? Where are we at? We're actually pretty close to Whiterun. Let's go ahead and remove that custom marker. And uh, see as how we're almost at the 30 minute mark, let's go ahead and fast travel back to Falkreath, I think. <sighs> Sorry for yawning. It's still pretty early. I definitely have had my coffee, but... Still pretty early. Come on, Skyrim. There we go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, we're good. You wear the armor of a mercenary. Now that's the Damn right it is. Hey, Rennell. What's up, my friend? Goost is responsible for the cemetery here in Falkreath. I take care of the shrine. Yes, you do. I have your journal, buddy. Thank you. It's a collection of regrets that I try not to forget. Here. I promise to this. 500 gold, nice. We're here to teach you a Life lesson. is far too short, my friend. What? This is mine. A fight. I'm getting up. You're nothing. Ah. I think you're bleeding. You'll make you a fine bone, cat. Come here, little guy. God, that's a lot of friggin' health, comparatively to what I've been fighting. Okay, we need to level up. We're gonna be dropping into level 3, I think. Let's go ahead and put some points into stamina. And how about... How about... Why don't we put some more into heavy armor, I think. Guards helping me here, huh? All right, guards, you sons of bitches. I think I already know why they attacked me, but damn it! Pretty sure it was for killing that Fisher lady. It's my bad. We'll take that contract and take a peek at it. Take that gold. What else do we got here? Okay, let's take a re let's take a read of that uh, contract. Is that what I was thinking? Agreed upon a mount... Zarya. Oh, it was a thief. It was because I stole. Ah... Uh, it was the apothecary here in town that hired them. She noticed. And she sent him after me. How could she? Can't even believe it. Then again, I did steal from her while she while I was friggin', you know, in her house and shop as she slept. So I guess good it's, to you see know. you. Finally, someone useful is around. Hey, I helped your people. Then, by my right as jarl, I name you Thane of Falkreath. Thanks. Congratulations. Appreciate it, jarl. I grant you a personal house, Carl, and this weapon from my armory to serve as your badge of office. I'll also notify my guards of your new title. Wouldn't want them to think you're part of the common rabble now. Blade of Falkreath. Come and How are we looking on money? Oh, I've got over 5,000. I could go start work on the house. Let's take a peek at this Blade of Falkreath. It's a sword, looks like an iron blade. Damage 8. Takes uh, 5 points of shock damage, half as much magic of damage. It's you actually not a bad time. sword for an early game like this, but I am unarmed, so uh, we're not going to be using it. We'll probably hang it up somewhere. Hey, what's up? Are you my house car? The Jarl has appointed me to be your house car. Alright. It's an honor to serve you. 
Lead on, Thane. My blade is always yours to command. Sweet. Appreciate it. Now, where is Ninian, or whatever her name was? The steward. Nope, that's Helvard. I think she's on this side. Would make sense. Ninja. I'm the steward here. Yes, it's a fine property. I'll take it. You won't regret it. Follow the road east from Falkreep, then north at the crossroads. Turn left, just past Pine Watch. Okay. <sighs> well, we've now bought property. The first spot in becoming a real part of Falkreath. Well, I guess becoming Thane and working for the Jarl is a pretty good, pretty good start. But hey, you know what? It is what it is. Let's take a peek. This is our new, uh, that's Riverwood. This is Lakeview Manor. I'll place a marker at Lakeview. Because that's where we're going to go to end our video, I think. Going to go take a look at our new property. Now, it's not going to be much. In fact, right now, it'll pretty much just be a base property. There's not going to be any home there. If you guys are familiar with, uh, uh, what was it? Hearth, Hearthfire? Yeah, Hearthfire DLC. Then you know how this works. We bought the property, and then we need to start building our house, which is going to take a lot more of an investment. It will not be easy. It will not be quick. But that's good. I'm okay with that. Is this Pine Watch that she was talking about up here, this little, uh, little tower? Let's go, might as well go discover this that's close to our place. Pine Watch? Tell me it's Pine Watch? Are you Pine Watch? Hello Tower? Are you Pine Watch? Peak's Shade Tower is what this is. Okay, fair enough. Hey, House Carl, come here. You're, ba you're bad at keeping up with me. It'd be nice having an extra hand around, though. Should be able to carry some gear. As well as actually provide me some extra extra damage with being unarmored. It'll be very helpful. Oh shit, look out. Look out! Oh no! Get, get over here. Get away from the rocks. Okay, we're fine. There's not even bandits here. I murdered them last time. Why is stuff still falling? I, I friggin' triggered that stuff, didn't I? Come here. Quit running into rocks, you crazy. What's this? I don't recall. This is Pine Watch, okay. So it's just past Pine Watch, take a left. That's what it was, just past Pine Watch. Oh, I like that she's friggin' dual wield. The scimitars, I friggin' love how that looks. I know they're not very powerful weapons, but I think it's so cool looking. I always liked red guards. I thought they were a really cool race. In fact, my first main character that I really played a lot of this game was uh, with was a red guard. All right, Lakeview Manor discovered. This is our new property, guys. It'll take some work. This is where we're going to build our home. So might as well get started. Drafting table, sure. Buy lumber for building your house. Use a drafting table to begin your house. Begin building your house. Small house layout. Might as well get started on it. So that's set up. It sets up the little uh, scaffolding here, if you want to call it that. It's really just roped off for now. Carpenter's workbench. What do we need? quarried stone and nails for building this stuff. But we have some in here, I think. Wow, that's a lot of stuff in here, just randomly. That seems odd. But I'm not going to complain about it. We'll take that quarried stone. Take the clay. Take the iron ingots. And let's take a peek here. Let's check out this anvil. Oops, sorry, I didn't mean to bump that microphone again, as I always seem to do. Iron nails. Can we build iron nails? 
hide? Where was it? Building materials, there we go. Let's build up some of these. Miscellaneous, shellbug helm, spool of hemp yarn, okay. Aim it. I do have some, some mods installed that actually are allowing me to build some other things that you normally wouldn't see. Which is why you might see all this stuff and go, what? Why do you have that? It's quite simply because I have some mods. House, let's build that foundation. And we'll build the framing, since we have the goods to do it. The walls, we need more nails to build. We might as well show you what we've got so far. This is what we've built. Our foundation and our, uh, our scaffolding walls there. Build up some of the more walls there. We can build a proper floor or we can get the frame of the house built. Let's do the framing for the uh, for the roof. And we'll do the floor. What do we need? More nails for the roof. Okay. Let's take another look here. That's where we're at, and I'm carrying too much to yes, be able to run. Thing. I need you to hold something. Do you need something? Fine. What? Oh, what? I didn't mean to actually do that. Let's, uh... I'm still here. I need to trade some things with you. That's what of I want course, to do. Of course, Thane. How can I be of service? You can be of service by holding... My pickaxe. My woodcutter's thing. My lucky dagger. My staff of fury. My blade of falkreath. An extra iron shield. How am I looking? Okay, that, pu that puts me unencumbered. Okay, Let's cool. Let's go. Now I can actually move a little better. So we built our floor, we put our roof uh, scaffolding up. This is going to be a very small house once we get this, this initial part built. But it'll be something. House. House roof. Let's build that roof. And the doors, what we need, we need iron fittings, we need a lock and two hinges. And I think I have enough iron stuff for that, so let's try. Iron fitting, a lock. Two hinges. Build the door. And you know what I kind of want to do? I kind of want to build a garden. And an animal pen. Just to get some stuff going. Make it a little more homely. Seem a little more lived in. So now the animal pen here... Uh, you can actually, I can, I can place uh, Rhea here. I can make her the house Carl of this place, and I can talk to her and have her gather materials and things like that, or uh, like bring in animals, other things such as that. It's kind of cool. Now, inside here, we also have one of these. So what we can do, build ourselves a fire pit to, to actually get some, uh, get some light in here and such. But the big thing I kind of want to do is actually get a bed going. What do I need? Saw, I need straw, I need sawn logs and nails. And some containers wouldn't go amiss. But this also, at some point, will get changed too. So I don't know if I really want to build too, too much in here just yet. We're going to go ahead and, and dump some stuff into here though. Since we don't need to be carrying everything we have on me. In fact, here, you, you come here. Yes, I my get, I'm going to take that stuff do I just gave you. Do you need something? You. Of course, Thane. How can I be of service? Take back my blade of falkery, thank you. Take back my pickaxe. You have double sets of scimitars, staff of fury. And where's my pickaxe? I gave you a pickaxe, didn't I? I already grabbed that. I must have already grabbed it. Lead on then. Okay. Dropping the blade. I'm gonna keep my pickaxe on me, I guess. And my woodcutter's axe just so I can have those. Um I kind of want to keep all that stuff on me so that I can get rid of it when I need to. In the meantime, let's dump all my books with skills. And I'll put away those, I'll put away that. Cast Iron Pot does come in handy later. I'll keep the clammy and we're going to put that outside, but... Curious Silver Mold. Cannot equip this item. Oh, that, that, that's fine. I didn't mean to try that. Let's put away... I'm gonna keep the wolf pelts. Um, 
frost salts, I don't really want to uh, run the risk of just like eating some of this more rare stuff. So we're just going to put it all away. Giant's toe. Hag raven claws are going away. Hawk feathers are going away. Human hearts going away because those are hard to find. Nern roots all going away. River Betty. Oh, that fish was actually worth a little bit. Spriggan sap. Tap roots going. Troll fat. Everything else. Actually, we'll put away these. God, mushrooms are actually worth a little bit. I did not realize. Food. Sack of flour. Let's put away all the things that are really going to be used for... Uh, oops, I didn't mean to eat that raw, that raw meat. Put away everything like that that can be used for actually cooking stuff. Okay. We'll save that for later. And I think, oh yeah, now we're over 40 minutes after getting this house all set up. I still need to get myself a bed sooner or later, but I do want to expand the house first. Because if I put a bed in the entrance way, it gets a little, gets a little cramped later on. Then again, it is, I guess it doesn't really need to be all that, that spectacular of an entrance way. Because what will happen is, since I've played this, I know kind of how this works. This is our house right now, but eventually we can expand it further back and build like a bigger house, and this just becomes like an entrance way. So if I build a bed in there, it's a little odd, but it might serve well for uh, her bed or whoever's bed I end up selecting as my house, Carl, I suppose. Um, let's go ahead and put away our clay and everything else, quarried stone and whatnot. And, you know, why, why do I have so much stuff in here? That really seems odd to me. I don't understand why there's so much in here already, and it's like stuff that I haven't even come across yet. Crazy mods, I guess? I don't know. Stupid stuff. Craziness. Whatever. I'm not going to complain too much. It's not like it's that overpowered or anything that's going to be super, super useful in the future, but it is what it is. Just a little odd. Um, okay, so that's that. Uh, I think pretty much everything else looks good to go. I don't I think I, I'm holding anything else that would be building materials at this point. So we're going to go ahead and call that after we built our first house, finally, in YOLO Skyrim. We've actually made a little bit of progress in becoming a little bit more sustainable. Um, we've got a place for storage and a place to call our own. And we are the Thane, and we have ourselves a house, Carl, to actually protect us a bit. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked what you saw, please do drop a like below. And any comments on what you might want to see in the future, class, race, combinations, things like that. Uh, if we end up losing Burla two toes here. It would be a sad, sad day, but it's probably going to happen sooner or later. This is Yellow Skyrim. Uh, if you want to keep get, uh, getting videos like this or any other videos from me, go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. I would really appreciate it. And until next time, guys, cheers.